Hey, y'all gonna enjoy this one. Oh man, y'all come on in. Come on in. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo B, coming to you with another episode. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. And y'all, I'm guaranteeing y'all gonna enjoy this one. Y'all see the title. And <laughs> before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you know me, grow me, and sharing is caring. So if you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notified because I drop videos random. Except for my Wednesday live. My Wednesday live is set at 7 p.m. Uh, but yeah, so hit that notification bell. Also, make sure you share the video. Yeah. Yeah. We like, no, dead ass. Like, please. I because I this it. This this it. It's it. This is what I do. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, see the video. I mean, it's the title. Wonder Woman and her relationship to Black Panther. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. This is a recast. This is a hashtag recast to Chala or else hashtag boycott Black Panther 2 video. It is. With a twist. I ain't saying what I'm saying. Yeah, I did, I did. Hold on for a second. Hold that thought. So yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all like my picture? Shout out to um, Mem Generator and everything. I actually used them to make that picture. A lot of damn Wonder Woman's, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, every last one of them. Every, every every last one of them. Every last one of them. Every every last one of them. Yep. Yeah. Every last one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna start off like this. You probably don't recognize the two. Well, it's only three live action photos. And those are y'all that's you know. Some of y'all might not know anybody else besides Gail Godot. So I, I get that. But the young lady in the full uniform, that's Kathy Crosby. That's Kathy Crosby. And her Wonder Woman actually came out in 1974. You know I was born in 68. So you know I'm six. At <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I really do remember this damn thing. I was like, that's not Wonder Woman. <laughs> Of course, it was better than Electro Woman and Dinah Girl. <laughs> who, who? Electro Woman and Dinah Girl? Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. God damn it. Okay, there. You, Saturday morning cartoon. Jeez. Like, I so y'all gonna have to start Googling some of this stuff, man. I'm not gonna keep, you know, reminding myself how old I am to y'all. <laughs> but yeah, Kathy Crosby. Yeah. Wonder Woman, 1974. Show sure did. Kathy Lee Crosby. I want to make sure I say her name right. Kathy Lee Crosby, 1974. You know, that's a whole 10 years before Wonder Woman, 1984. I want to carry it. And y'all, like, y'all think I'm making too much of this about me saying Kathy Lee Crosby is Wonder Woman in 1974. Au contraire, mon frère. I'm going to show you how I'm going to bring this one home. <laughs> I'm being petty as hell on this one. I said 90 cent for? Yeah, I said one one. Yeah, I got the TV. I got the TV movie in 1974. They, the other the other young lady with the black hair that's standing like this and everything like that, or the live action shot, that's Linda Carter. I got the Wonder Woman TV series in 19... Let me see, because I want to make sure I do this right. Yeah, three seasons of it, too. Got a whole pile of episode and everything. Yeah, let me... Let me, let me, let me. 
Yeah, got a whole t yeah, got whole three seasons of it. And everything. And listen to me. Linda Carter. Good guy. Yeah, come on, somebody. That, that, Linda Carter. Yeah. November 7, 1975. Ain't too long at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to be petty, but it's hard. It's hard because y'all, you know, everybody going to be like, man, we know where you're going with this deal. And it's going to be some of y'all like, man, stop, do, stop doing that, bro. I'm like, man, doing what? I just, you know, I ain't saying, I'm just saying, like, I'm not doing anything. I just, you know, when I look at, you know, you know, you know. Kathy Lee Crosby, Wonder Woman. Like, that's funny to me. Wonder Woman TV movie. That is funny to me. Because this movie came out in March 1974. The one with Kathleen Lee Crosby. That's the young lady with the whole outfit on, blonde hair. And then the other, the TV series started November of 1975. Ran for three seasons. Anybody remember that? Wonder Woman. All the magic that you share. Da, 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 da. All the magic that you do. White and red, white and blue. Change our mind and change the world. Y'all did. Da, da, da. Wonder Woman. Listen. I need y'all to know that Linda Carter and, and Catherine Box. Aside from... <laughs> The young lady who played Miss, um, hold on, get Christy Love, because I want to make sure, because I had a huge crush on her, get Christy Love. Who was that young lady that played it? Get Christy Love. I'm show telling my age right now. Yes, good God. Teresa Graves. Yes, Teresa Graves was my crush back in the day. Get Christy Love. I, what did I know about Get Christy Love? Because this show, this show okay. This came out in 1974. I told y'all, boy, I've been liking women for a long time. <laughs> Six years old. Boy, ooh. ooh, ooh. Teresa Gray, ooh, good God of Jesus, it said she was all down my, all down my spine. Damn. Ah, woo. Woo. Ah, oh, good God of I still remember what Teresa Gray boy. I used to love me some get Christy Love. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, girl. But yeah, Christy Love, Catherine Bach, Linda Carter. I'm totally looking past them young ladies from Charlie's Angels, but I think that should just go. No, I'm talking about Charlie's Angels back in the day. Because them sisters back in the day, it was a whole lot thicker than what y'all got in Charlie's Angels, the reboot and everything like that. Yep, yeah, dead ass. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Just like Daisy was thicker than in the original series than the Daisy we got in the... Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, so you see them Wonder Woman's because we had the five minute, 14 seconds, 14 minute mark. Y'all y'all see them Wonder... Y'all see the Wonder Woman, right? Now, I know y'all recognize Diana Prince. But the, the young lady with the, with the red ponytail, that's Artemis. She's been Wonder Woman. This same timeline. Same, same, same timeline. Nubia, the sister. I think that go without saying. I, I really do think. Nubia. I think y'all know who that is in the picture. Nubia. She's been Wonder Woman too in the same timeline. And Yala Noor, Yala Noor, the, the other young lady who, who, who has a, you know, dark pigmentation. That's the future state Wonder Woman. Uh, same universe, future timeline, future, but same universe. Why am I saying all that? They never killing off Diana Prince. <laughs> <laughs> never. Oh, remember when I told y'all how I was going to wrap this up in a nice little bow and bring it back? Linda Carter of Wonder Woman actually shows up in the cameo appearance in Wonder Woman 1984 starring Gail Gadot.
Y'all remember Brian O'Connor showing up in the latest Fast and Furious movie? In Paul Walker. You know, I could probably do a hundred more videos poking holes in every lame ass excuse that somebody's gonna give. But watch this. I know more about all these damn characters I just named than you know about one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a self-professed Wonder Woman fan, <laughs> but I actually bought the, I remember when Diana switched Diana chain from being Wonder Woman to just walking around with just a damn, that was sexist. Like y'all really put this chick, this young lady in a black biker uniform, the Amazon princess of Themyscira, y'all put her. It was sexy. It was, it was revealing, but some, but in a perverted type of way, but yeah. <laughs> Oh Lord. Ah. The, doing videos like this give me energy because it's like I'll be like, you know what? You know what they never finna do? <laughs> and you know why y'all not finna do that? <laughs> Say you finna kill off Diana, Diana Prince and see what happened. Oh, I, I I would sit back and I would sit back, pull up the chair, get some popcorn, and just wait for the fireworks to begin. Cause you getting ready to hear from Two communities on this one. You're going to hear from, oh, my bad, three, because they're not all the same. You're going to hear from women. Just go ahead and get that out the way. Then you're going to hear from feminists. Yeah, that, 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 that. Then you're going to hear from members of the LGBTQ, because you know they just introduced this storyline in regards to which I, it really don't make any sense. Transgender Amazons. Like, I see what you're going for. <laughs> But if transgender is the process, the process, y'all, y'all correct me because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I need members of the LGBTQ to come talk to me. I don't want nobody from here because I, you might be like me, not knowing what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> but I understand what they're going for. I do. But if you go through the well of souls because you were violently murdered by a man. You you were trans, transgender woman. You were violently murdered by a man. Once you come through the well of souls, you're a whole full blown grown ass woman. Like I and then I'm not trying to overcook the grits on this. I'm not. Amazon's like I said, comic book fans, members of the LGBTQ, feel free to chime in. I'm prepared to be educated, but I do know the history of Amazons when we when we do this. Amazons don't like men. Men only serve two purposes, breeding and slaves. Let me say that one more time. Men only serve two purposes, as breeders and as slaves. I don't know how this conversation is going with the Amazon if a man say, hey, I want to be a woman. And even with that, once he goes through this, because, you know, because hell, I don't know. But I'm thinking once they go through the soul of wells, the transgender no longer applies. That would be my same statement, my same mindset for somebody, that, uh, you know, a transgender male going through the soul of wells with the 300. Once you come out the soul of wells, you're a whole full blown grown ass dude, reproductive organs and everything. Right? I mean, I, 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 you know what? I could be wrong, but <laughs> I see what we're going for. It's just, to me, it's just got to, 
it's got to make sense. Like, and I don't, I'm prepared to be educated on this all day, every day, and twice on Sunday, but. I like the better what the CW did. How about we just introduce a transgender superhero as opposed to doing it like that? And maybe we have the transgender superhero be, be befriended by Wonder Woman and be encouraged by Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman truly is a person for the people, a superhero, a champion for the people. Not real sure about the Amazons being champion for the people. I, I pretty much think the Amazons have a feminist a rather extreme feminist mindset. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, but besides the point, where we at? I don't want to keep us too long. Listen, I've been here too long, 12 minutes, 35 seconds. But anyway, we not killing off Diana Prince, regardless. We all know that. We not finna act brand new with that. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace. We ain't killing off Wonder Woman either. <laughs>